choosing the right platform to build your website or your client's website is probably one of the most important decisions you know you do when you set up your website and today I want to discuss two platforms Wix which is a super easy platform if you don't know anything about design and coding because it's simple drag and drop platform and Webflow which is a bit more kind of code oriented you don't have to code but you have to understand the logic of building websites so here's the story I have a friend who lives in Buenos Aires, Argentina. He's a chef and he has kind of a bread and wine shop with his wife over there. Super awesome place. He tried to build his own website by himself. Since he's not a designer, doesn't know how to code, he tried using Wix. And the outcome was kind of, let's say, so-so. Let me just show you how the website turned out. So this is basically what he was able to come up with. Uh, he's got the logo here and he's got like multiple navigation. He's got kind of a top navigation. The website is both in English and Spanish. He's got social links here. He's got lots of links here. Some of them are, uh, you know, to scroll in this page and some of them actually move to different pages. Um, he's got multiple forms going around here. Uh, this one, for example, assigns you to a MailChimp mailing list, and this one is kind of a contact bill, uh, form. So basically, he was emailing me, asking me for feedback, how can he improve this? I try to help him over email, but eventually, he kind of just sent me the login details for the week's uh, editor and said, yeah, just do it yourself, please help me and fix this. So this is actually how the Wix uh, website editor looks like, and it's super, super simple. Again, if you don't know anything about creating web, uh, website, you can just drag and drop here, and it's super visual, and it makes sense. But the thing is that, you know, it is very visual and drag and drop, but the thing is that websites are not really static anymore. So you can't really position something visually because websites are responsive. They look totally different on mobile. And you can't really define the logic of how websites behave in Wix. You can actually just set this up as a desktop version and then you can switch here into mobile view and then every time you make a change you have to actually uh, redesign everything for mobile because the changes that you did in desktop do not reflect here. So you actually have to design the websites twice. Um, and moreover, you can't do things like, you know, uh, set up the menu to kind of align to the bottom or to the top. So there are some things that even I'm as a designer who do, I do know design, I do know how to code. I wasn't really able to do them very quickly in Wix. Some things like adding forms to connect to MailChimp, you can add custom code, but then you can't really customize how it looks. So he was kind of limited and even me myself when trying to play with this, I couldn't get this to do what I wanted to do very fast. And then eventually I got so frustrated that I just said, come on, man, let me just redo this in Webflow. It will look like 10 times better and it will be super easy for you to maintain using the Webflow CMS. Now, my friend was a bit concerned because he doesn't want to be dependent on me every time he has to make a change. And I hope he won't have to have me as a designer because the Webflow CMS to edit the content is wonderful. But it is true that Webflow is a bit more advanced. So if you are somebody like my friend who has no design experience, then probably you cannot rebuild the website yourself using Webflow because it's a bit it's a much more professional tool. But if you are a designer who's considering how you should build your website, then I think that Webflow is definitely a much better solution right now because it gives you the full control of how this looks. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take the website that he built with Wix and I try to rebuild this in Webflow. I'm not gonna completely redesign this. I'm gonna solve a few problems that he has here navigation-wise and stuff like that. And let's see how that turns out. All right, so the website is now complete. It took me three hours, around three hours to build it, including a little lunch break because I got so hungry that I couldn't concentrate on working anymore. Let me show you what I did and how this looks. So basically, 
this is what we started with. Uh, this is the Wix website. As you can see, everything here is not aligned to messy navigation. I kind of made this much simpler with the navigation here with a nice hover interaction. Um, also the English. So the website is actually duplicated. So it's now both Spanish and both English and the um, and the navigation that we have here is kind of across the website. It continues to all through the pages. Um, one more thing that looks much better, you know, typography and layout looks much better. The forms that were really horrible looking here look much clearer and nicer around here. I kind of separated them into two areas. And the menu, which was here, basically here there was two language in one menu and it was kind of messy and not very pretty so what i did i kind of separated this per language and i've used the cms for this and let me show you this is basically the webflow cms so basically when my friend wants to edit the website it's super easy it's just to click and edit the text really simple and the menu items are actually managed through here. This is the content uh, management system. So if you want to create a new item, it's as simple as clicking here, giving it a name in English and in Spanish, description in English and Spanish, and one price, choosing a category, and this will update automatically uh, both English and uh, Spanish website. So I think the content management of this website is going to be like super easy right now. I've actually for the page of upcoming events, what I did was add kind of a, this is, a, this is what we call like a rich text editor. So he can actually put whatever he wants here, even add images or, you know, video or whatever, and just create the content for himself here. And it will already update the design automatically. So without kind of ruining my design, he can just edit content and update the website super, super clearly. So I think the website looks much better. It's much more kind of fine and some kind of UX problems were solved. Obviously, if you're not a designer, if you're not kind of a web designer and no, don't know how the web works, kind of CSS and basic layout structures, then you're not going to use Webflow. Probably Wix is a better solution for, let's say, what they call consumer or end users or potential clients who don't know much about the tech side. But if you are a designer, at least on my part, Webflow is a tool that allows kind of super professional customization and control and even the CMS, you know, giving your client, my friend in this case, the ability to kind of manage their website so quickly and easily, I think it gives tons of value and three hours, I think that's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm heading back to my regular client work right now. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll catch you next week. Shining stuff for you to see